Hello everyone and today I'm going to be talking about how to teach your children to read. For those of you that have been following me for a long time, you know that I'm a homeschool mom of five and so far I have been able to successfully teach four of my children to read by the age of three. I have been sharing this method of reading for nearly a decade and a lot of you have written to me and said all of your wonderful stories. You have children two, three, four years old, learning to read fast with this method. I have read stories of children with Down syndrome with special needs learning to read as well because I make it very simple. So today I'm gonna to share with you the three simple steps that I use to teach reading. And it's not rocket science, you guys. Anyone can teach your children how to read. So the first step is teaching letter sounds. A lot of parents and teachers start teaching off uh, the letter names and the alphabet song A, B, C, D, E, F, G. It's a beautiful song, but it will not teach your children to read. It's just a song. And the letter names are also not going to teach your children how to read. So right from the start, I knew that teaching letter sounds to begin with was the way to go. So I got some index cards. I created these index cards when my 10 year old was probably close to one years old and I just took index cards and I laminated them and I wrote the lowercase letters on the index cards and I put a little ring on it. The reason why I use lowercase is because lowercase is what is mostly seen when reading and so the uppercase they learn intuitively as you teach the letter names and as you teach writing. So I always do the lowercase when um, teaching the letter sounds. So I'm going to go ahead and bring my three-year-old to demonstrate how I teach letter sounds. Hi. All right, so I brought my three-year-old over here and we're going to show you how we do our letter sounds. So at first, you're going to just flash the letter sounds to the child. You don't want to expect for them to repeat after you. Just flash it. It should take about one minute a day. You do all of the letters A through Z. You want to use the short vowel sounds. The, the vowels have different sounds, but when you're first starting to read, you want to start with the short vowel sounds. I do have a video that I made, and I'll link it below where you can hear all of the sounds and how to teach them appropriately. So ready? Look, you're just going to listen and hear, okay? Ready? Ah. B. D, A, F, G, H, E, J, K, O, M, M, A, P, K, R, S, T, A, V, W, X, Y, Z. So do you see how fast it is? It's just flashing the letter sounds. should take about one minute a day. Even if you don't think they're learning it, they're learning it. So as you continue doing this, then you want to have them start repeating with you. Ready, Look. Now you're going to say the sounds with me. Ready? And you can use a pointer. Luke likes to use different pointers. Ready, Look. Ah. B. B. K. D. D. A. G. G. And you go on and on every day now having them repeat after you. After you see that they've started to get a hang of repeating after you, then you want to have them say the letter sounds. Ready, Luke? You want to go ahead and tell us now by yourself? Go. So you go on and on and have them repeat and have them keep practicing their letter sounds. Once you see that they've got the hang of it, you want to start putting the letters out of order to make sure that they're not memorizing the order. Ready, Luke? What letter is this? Good. What letter is this? What letter is this? Good. So you want to start calling them out of order to make sure that they know it. Once they know the letters, sounds in order, out of order, now you're ready for blends. And for many years, I have used the chart for the letter blends. 
and um, what I started doing this year is that we have everything in a binder and basically the blends are just combining two letter sounds so they already know the letter sounds now they're moving on to two letter sounds so I'm going to go ahead and bring you a little closer to share with you how to do the blends in a binder so here's the binder that I put together for my children to teach them reading and it has everything I need inside to organize it here I have a chart this is a progression chart and it has all of the lessons there's 53 lessons and they get to have a sticker for each of the lessons it has different milestones like when they first can read wor words then when they can read sentences and then when they're finished with the whole entire uh, binder and it's just really motivating for them here I have an alphabet chart and this alphabet chart is so that parents can sing the alphabet song two to three times a week to have them learn their letter names. It will also teach them the uppercase and the lowercase letters as they will be singing them as you sing the song together. Then we go on to the blends. So we are going to be combining the consonants with the vowels and as you can see the vowels are in red so that the child can elongate the vowel as they are blending this makes the blending process easier and it helps the child be able to hear what they are reading so we're doing most of the consonants and some of them we have left out because they use different phonetic rules and it changes the way that they sound when they are read so uh, it goes in progression doing the different blends it's just two uh, letters and they're blending j a j a j a j a j a j a and so on i'm going to go ahead and bring my three-year-old so you can see him doing one of his lessons ba, a, ba. Ba, a, ba. Good job, Lou. Give me five. So once the child has gone through all of their two-letter blends, then they're going to be blending three letter words and this is so exciting because now they get to blend words words that actually have meaning so as you can see the vowels are in red so that they can elongate those vowels and now these are lists and these lists are word families so here in this binder you're going to see the most used word families and the children get to go ahead and read words. So exciting. At the end of the lesson, I get to have a check mark when they're finished and they get to earn a sticker here in their sticker chart. Cat. 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 Good job. Give me five, Luke. It's really exciting to see them reading their words and they really, really get excited reading. Let me go ahead and share with you guys how the progression of the binder continues. So as the child progresses through the three letter words, then towards the back, they're going to be getting to sentences. This is so exciting because they get to see their progress. And so, as you can see, we only have three sentences per page. Now, you don't have to read all three sentences in one day. Um, for those children that can, yes, absolutely. But we, we keep it very simple, and these are all phonetic sentences, except for some of them that have the word the in it. So that is the only sight word found in this entire book. But most of these can be read and decoded. And it really progresses to you know, sentences that are longer, but I keep it to three sentences a day. I, I focus on mastery of these three sentences, fluency of these three sentences. And they continue reading three sentences until the end, and there are 53 lessons in this book, and my children have absolutely loved it so far. 
I'm going to link this book below in the description box. This is a binder that you can print out. Um, and you can put in laminate sheet protectors, but you can also get this book on Amazon fully printed if you would like to get it fully printed as well. I'm going to go ahead and link it below in the description box. All right, so as you can see, teaching beading is very, very simple. And so you want to start off with your letter sounds, flashing them one minute a day. And then the child moves on to two letter blends. Now they're blending those that they have learned. And then they move on to words. And these are three letter words. They're CVC, consonant, vowel, consonant words. And we use word families to teach reading because it is what I found the easiest way to learn how to read. I put it all in a binder for you guys. We used to have these charts and these flashcards that were a little bit hard to keep together and I like having it all together in a binder and I'm so excited to be able to share with you. If you guys want to get the printable for this binder, I'm going to link it below in the description box. You can also get the printed form of the book. I'm so excited to release that. Um, it's going to be on Amazon. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. If you have learned to read with the method that I have been sharing with for so many years, please let us know in the comments. We want to hear those stories. We want to see those stories of all of you guys who have taught your children to read with this simple phonetic method. Anyone can teach their child how to read. It doesn't have to be expensive. It doesn't have to be a headache. Um, and it can be fun for the kids. It can absolutely be fun. I hope you have enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.